We're going to take a look at your forecast now. We're going to head on over to meteorologist Allison Pryor. Allison, what can people expect today? So most of the area will be dry today, except if you're in our northern communities. We still do have some rain showers this morning. The good news is most of this is going to be pushed out of the area before sunrise, but I think there may still even be a spotty sprinkle through about 8 a.m. and then drier for the rest of the day. So again, if you kind of draw a line from Cleveland all the way to Mont Eagle and southward, dry conditions, those showers affecting our northern tier. So from Grundy County, Sequatchie County, Bledsoe County, we still have that flood advisory in effect for Bledsoe County for the next 15 15 minutes and this rain is all moving over to McMinn County and eventually to Monroe County. A lot of this is light rainfall, but there are certainly some pockets with some heavier downpours that are mixed in with this all moving off to the east. So let's kind of look at that with future scans. So we're taking that current radar. We're pushing it forward an hour and you can see we'll begin to have clearing in Sequatchie County and Bledsoe County, but still that rain an hour from now. Northern portions of Ray County, Spring City, 10 Mile, Nyota area all the way over to Monroe County. So we still have a little bit of this rainfall. I want to show you the bigger picture though. Here's the good news. So the flooding threat for the day today is to the north of our area, even north of our communities are seeing that rain right now. So closer to the I-40 corridor moving across the state. And you can also see where that colder air is. So wintry mix, even a little bit of snow from Memphis all the way to the northwest side of Nashville. But this is the region that's going to be picking up that heavier rainfall. For us, again, drier weather. And even when we get rain tomorrow, it's not going to be as soaking. So as we look at future cast rainfall, that really big band of the green and yellow is outside side of our area. You'll notice just that blue here. So overall today you add on those totals for tomorrow about a tenth of an inch to three quarters of an inch is all that we're expecting for over the next 48 hours here locally. So that's some good news to provide a little bit of flooding relief. Now there probably are some still spots that have water that's there. So do be careful driving this morning, especially if you know that you drive through an area that is flood prone and wasn't cleared out by last night. Here's a check about 6 a.m. So again, still some activity for our northern communities as we go through the rest of the morning time hours. I think at 8 a.m. there may still be a spotty sprinkle and we'll still see that even at 10 o'clock, but most of that rain again focused to the north of our area. Mostly cloudy skies across the area today. Wind coming up from the south to the southwest. As we continue through this Thursday, we may see a few breaks in the clouds as we get later in the day. I do think the warmest temperatures of the day generally highs in the 70s the further to the south you are. If you're in Tennessee, most likely your high temperatures today in the 60s. And then as we go through the overnight hours, pretty quiet conditions. Yes, there is going to be a spotty shower here, there again, mainly for our northern communities for this Thursday evening. But that cold front sweeping through, bringing us more widespread rain is not going to happen until the overnight hours, primarily after midnight. So this is going to be the batch that's going to bring more rain to our area. But notice as it moves eastward, how it kind of falls apart. So that's why our rainfall totals still are going to be pretty low. The ground is saturated, so any additional rain may uh, end up being runoff and isolated flooding, but it's still not going to be as much of a concern as what we had yesterday. As we look ahead to Friday morning by about 8, 9 o'clock, most of this is out of here and then improving conditions for the rest of the day on Friday. So clouds clearing up, getting some sunshine, but do expect cooler temperatures because that will be associated with the cold front for Friday. Now for Saturday. Yes, there is a chance on Saturday for a couple of isolated showers, and you're seeing some of this pink on here. So as this runs through on Saturday morning, even a little bit of wintry mix, there's not going to be a whole lot of moisture there, but we'll keep an eye on that for Saturday morning. More widespread rain will be possible, though, for the day on Sunday. So we're just kind of going back and forth, up and down here for the next few days. Here's a check one more time for your Thursday planner at 8 a.m. Again, a couple still of those spotty sprinkles, mainly for our northern communities, 48 degrees, 61 at noon and then 67 at 3 o'clock. Mostly cloudy skies, but I think it could become partly sunny a little bit later in the day, especially for some of our areas to the east and also to the south. 69 for your high today, those morning showers north and mostly cloudy. And then tonight, 49 quite early on, but that rain returns late across the area, primarily after midnight associated with that cold front. So 30% chance today. That's what's happening right now for our northern communities. 70% is for tomorrow morning. A couple of isolated showers on Saturday, much cooler, only a high of 48 degrees. Sunday, we're back up to 50%. And then finally, ah, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right. we're drying out. <laughs> You know, there are a lot of events going on this weekend ahead of Mardi Gras, and it looks like Saturday may be a pretty easy day as far as the rain to get out and enjoy yourself. Yeah, and most of the rain on Sunday should be happening Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So if your plan is for Sunday afternoon, that should be okay too. All right, Allison, thank you.